time. Your word says it can be. Change our minds this time. Your life could make us free. We are the people your call set apart. Lord, this time, change our hearts. By your hand to the edge of our dreams, one foot in paradise, one in the waste. By your promises, still we are lured by the shadows and the chains we leave behind. Change our hearts this time. Change our minds this time. Your life could make us free. We are the people your call set apart. Lord, this time, change our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, today in our prayer, we remember James Ferreira. As we're attentive to holy wisdom, let's prepare then to celebrate the sacred mysteries and to give praise to Christ our teacher. Lord Jesus, you are God's word of knowledge, revealing eternal ways. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are God's word of insight, sowing seeds of grace. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are God's word of judgment, separating wheat from chaff. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on each of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does that name honor. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they received from us. For did we not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received from you? On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked so as not to burden any of you, not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. It is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. 
for you shall eat the fruit of your handwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evildoing. Well, you scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the, sh- the prophets' blood. Thus, you bear witness against yourselves, and that you and your children of those who murdered the prophets now fill up what your ancestors measured out. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. There are always risks in presenting yourself as a model, at least, and least of which is inviting people to uh, scrutinize you for any and or all of your failings. St. Paul was confident that the new Christians in Thessalonica would find him a faithful witness to the gospel that he was preaching. In today's gospel, however, Jesus continues and holds up the scribes and Pharisees as hypocrites, precisely for not living up to that high standard that they claimed as spiritual leaders and models. Hypocrite. It's a Greek word, you know, for actors who wore masks (laughs) on stage, and perhaps maybe not on stage as well in these days. They're described as models, one thing in appearance, but another in fact. Their pious public faces hid lives of corruption and contradiction. Jesus uses some of the harshest language in the Gospels to describe their hypocrisy. They're like whitewashed tombs, he says, stately and shining on the outside, but inside full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Jesus' greatest indictment of them is that they were supposed to help others find God. Instead, they blocked access and burdened people with intricate theological stumbling blocks and their own scrupulosity and legalism. They did not practice what they preached. The God of mercy was kept distant and unapproachable as a fearsome judge only reachable by these special professional intermediaries. They extracted money from poor widows, 
neglected their own parents and made a mockery of religion's purpose to promote justice and show compassion. Politics and religion, perhaps because they are paths to power, seem to attract more than their share of deceivers. Only by exposing their contradictions and deceptions can they be rooted out. True models must be transparent and humble, enough to share the common foibles that make them believable to ordinary people. Paul does that in his letters, doing what he asks others to do, listening to his critics and acknowledging his own mistakes. He lived by the mercy he preached, having gone through his own painful conversion to become an apostle. The scripture readings yesterday, today, and in the days ahead will offer some more challenging images of hypocrisy. The word is a living voice addressing us and our own world right now. We'll celebrate St. Monica and her son, St. Augustine, before week's end, whose stories include tears and a difficult conversion inspired by God's mercy. We'll also hear about the demands of servant leadership, those who stay awake and do what they are supposed to do by caring for others, how they will be honored, while those who abuse their authority will be called out as hypocrites and will be punished. To be good models helps us to be better people. Parents and teachers and all public figures have an important role in informing others. Good and evil, they're contagious. So community really depends on good people. Good people to inspire and to set an example for others, particularly for the young. It might be helpful for us to take stock as we shift into a new program year on how we're doing. Let us pray that elected officials may govern with fairness and respect, we pray. That pastoral leaders in the church may never fail to be agents of God's mercy, we pray. That all of us take seriously our ministry to bring reconciliation to broken relationships, we pray. That those who have been abused and persecuted by others will find a way to be healed of such injustice, we pray. For the sick and for those who care for them, for healthcare professionals, we pray. For our special intentions and for those who've asked for our prayer today. for our prayer partners, for the intentions on the petition cross and for those mentioned on the cup of thanksgiving, for those in the community prayer box in the hall and for those that we've received either by email or by phone. And for James Ferreira, we pray. For all those who have died, and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. For those who mourn the loss of loved ones, we pray. Lord, hear Eternal God, you have never withheld your mercy and your pardon to the contrite heart. Bestow upon your people a burning desire to bring that same compassion into a world that needs healing and peace. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord.
mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, with contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of all my sin. He's just looking for a note. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring even greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When When we we eat eat this bread and drink drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan Vigneron, the Archbishop of our diocese, and those who assist him with bishops throughout the world, the clergy, and all who care for your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and you say to each of us, my peace I leave with you, my peace is my gift to you. Lord, look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let's offer each other some sign of that peace of Christ as we're able. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I'm not worthy 
that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Take the body of your Lord and drink the holy blood for you, our poor. Say by his body and his holy blood, with souls refreshed, we give our thanks to God. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you out for. Christ our Redeemer, God's eternal Son, as by his cross and blood the victory won, he gave his life for greatest and for least, Himself the offering and himself the priest. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you out Let us approach with faithful hearts sincere and take the pledges of salvation here. Christ, who in this life all the saints' defense, gives all believers life that never ends. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you out for. With heavenly bread makes those who hunger whole, gives living waters to the thirsting soul. Judge of the nations to whom all must bow, in this great feast of love is with us now. Draw near, draw near, take the body of your Lord. Draw near, draw near, drink the blood for you out
A prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. How firm a foundation your saints of the Lord is laid for your faith in this excellent word. What more can God say than to you has been said, to you who for refuge of Jesus have fled? Be here not, I am weary, you will be not dismayed, for I am your God, and still if you made, I'll strengthen you, help you, and cause you to stand. Uphold by my righteous and impotent hand. When through the deep waters I call you to go, the rivers of woe shall overflow. Desert you its foes, and so though the hell should never to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake.